Autopilot is an incredibly powerful tool with many options. Some of our users have told me that they're overwhelmed with the detailed videos that I've created, telling me that I'm going through too much too fast. I wanted to help these users see how easy Autopilot is to use, often doing amazing things with almost no effort whatsoever. I'll try to do these videos step by step, not leaving anything out and showing things in basic real time. In this first video, I'm going to show using Focus with the Inspire One. This is the feature that made me first love Autopilot, as it allowed me to freely fly while ensuring the camera properly framed whatever I wanted it to focus on without worrying about yawing the aircraft or tilting the gimbal. Again, I'm going to keep this simple, minimal options, just showing the use case, how to do it, and the results. To start, I'm going to assume that the quadcopter is on and that I've already calibrated the compass. I typically shut down DJI's app at this point and start autopilot. You know you're good to go at the screen if you see connected to the Inspire 1 in the bottom left. And now I'm going to select focus mode. At this point, I really need to only check two things. First, I need to make sure that the strategy is set to subject. And second, I need to make sure the subject is set to operator. The aircraft in autopilot is now configured. You should now enter the flight dashboard, which is in the bottom center of the software, and now press Start Engage Sequence. It's going to ask you to view the checklist, where you should it'll pull up the flight school documentation. You can look at it quickly and make sure everything's ready to go. And now I'm going to select Fixed Operator because I am not moving in this case. For most autonomous modes, I prefer to take off and then press continue once the quadcopter is in the air. But since focus mode allows me to fly the aircraft by myself, I can hit continue now to actually watch the camera start to focus on me from the ground. The engage sequence will count down, 5, 4, 3, 2, 1, and the camera will turn toward me. Now a comment on this, especially on the ground, and since it's focusing on me and my iPad, sometimes on the ground it helps to walk around a little bit just to make sure you get a good solid GPS reading. And you can see from the ground here as I walk left and walk right, eventually it starts to follow me better. Now, once I take off, the aircraft remains focused on me. And no matter where I fly, left, right, up or down, the camera will remain focused on me. Now, the interesting thing with the Inspire is that because I have the 360 degree gimbal, I can actually yaw the aircraft 360 degrees around and it will still maintain focus on me. You can't see it right now, but I'm actually yawing the aircraft all the way around. But you can see it still keeps me perfectly framed and perfectly centered and shot. See how easy that was? Two buttons, two options, and I've got a perfectly framed focus shot. I'm going to do one more thing. I'm going to move the point of interest from me as the operator to a building. To let me better see what I'm doing, I'm going to click on More, then Hide Inline Controls, and that will give me a full screen view of the map. I'm going to push and hold on the map, and then I'm going to drag this Focus Subject icon around, and then I'm going to put it on this building that I want to, uh, to focus on. I can switch back to the camera view by pressing the camera in the lower left hand corner and I can see that the camera has automatically switched from focusing on me to focusing on this building. And now again, as I fly around, uh, freely fly, the camera will maintain focus on this building. I hope you found this quick video and this autopilot 123 approach valuable. If so, press like and provide some comments back in the Autoflight Logic Facebook page, and uh, I'll look to create more of them. Thanks.